What's up everyone, it's your boy Norm Rad 89 here, bringing you another video. Today's video, just a fun, laid back, chill one. Today we're going to talk about what I'm doing for Halloween, my Halloween watch list, and like I said, my plans for like the Halloween Eve, that, you know, Monday going into Tuesday and everything, what I'm going to be doing. And also, like I said, because of that reason, I would love to hear from all of you down in the comment section, share what you are going to be doing for All Hallows Eve, I would love to discuss and hear from all of you. So let's get down to this video. Roll it. So yes, we are approaching. We are counting down. It is so close to Halloween. It's like I'm sad. Every time I'm, I'm happy because it's getting close to my favorite day. But I always get a little bit of those like Halloween hangover blues, you know, because it's kind of coming on because I'm like, I know we're eventually going to hit that day and then it's going to be over and I have to wait another year. Like, I'm not even lying to you. Halloween is legit my favorite day of the year, has always been my favorite day of the year since I was a kid. Like, I used to go trick-or-treating a lot when I was younger, but when I was young too, I also suffered with asthma so when it was really cold, if the season was really cold and the weather was really like, you know, windy or it was changing a lot, you know, the seasons, it would really affect my asthma. So that's how the binging movies and being obsessed with watching horror movie marathons and just handing out candy. And I still dressed up. I still had a costume and I always picked a costume every year, but I typically had more fun handing out candy, dressing up, and just binge-watching horror movies because, like I said, I always had problems with my asthma. So walking and going around the block and all that stuff during the fall weather was really hard for me. But then I eventually grew out of that, and now that I have kids now and I'm a father, it's, you know, become more of the trick-or-treating time, you know, pumpkin carving, baking, you know, Halloween cupcakes and cookies and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And like I said, trick-or-treating and then watching movies as well because that's my favorite thing to do still is hand out candy and watch movies. I don't get to hand out candy as much now because like I said, I take out the kids and we go trick-or-treating so whoever stays home typically is the one that hands out the candy at the house and stuff like that. But I still do always have my staple watches that I watch every year typically, you know what I mean? I do change it up every once in a while. I used to be very fluid when I was younger. I would be very fluid. I would watch whatever the hell, like, you know, Puppet Master, Halloween, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, you know, Chucky, anything. I would watch anything and everything on Halloween. But now that I've gotten older, I've gotten more into a routine and I've become, like I said, I want to watch certain movies. So this year, like I've already had it planned out because I work Halloween night, that graveyard night. So Tuesday night at work, I go in at 10 p.m. But Monday, the night before, I'm off that whole day and that night. So usually just to keep my routine, I like to stay up throughout the night. Even the nights when I'm off, I like to stay up a good amount to like midnight or 1 a.m. because I like to keep my body in that same routine. So I'm probably that night, Monday, going into All Hallows Eve, I'm going to be watching Night of the Demons. And I'm thinking I'm going to do Friday the 13th Part 6. Those are my two first watches that I'm going to do, like I said, from Monday night going into All Hallows Eve. You know, then I'll probably nap and rest a little bit, get the kids up, get them to school because it's Tuesday and it's still a school day. So that's what kind of sucks is that Halloween falls on a school day this year. Get them to school and everything. And while they're in school, I don't know, I'll probably squeeze in a new watch. While the kids are in school, that's when I'll squeeze in a new watch. But I always like to, when the kids get up in the morning, watch Scooby-Doo or Simpsons Treehouse of Horrors. So that's my favorite thing to do when I get the kids up in the morning and I'm making breakfast and getting them ready for school. That's going to be the main thing is we're going to be watching probably some Scooby-Doo, Treehouse of Horrors. And then after they're in school, that's when I'll get a, a new movie and I'll pick anything. Like either it, it'd be a new horror movie, completely new that I've never seen or just one that I've skipped for years and years that's from back in the day. So that's when I'll squeeze that watch in. And then typically, like I said, at that night, my nighttime close-off movie, I always love to close off the night with Night of the Living Dead. It's not my favorite zombie movie, but just the black and white atmosphere and George A. Romero and like that film, it's just got this creepy vibe and it's the perfect film for me it's that perfect film to pop on like at 10 11 o'clock at night and just take you into midnight like night of the living dead is perfect so that's what i'll probably be doing actually 
while I'm at work. I'll probably have Night of the Living Dead on my phone because I go to at, to work at 10. So from like, you know, 6 to 9, it'll be like trick-or-treating time. You know what I mean? And then I'll have to come back and get ready for work and stuff. And if anything, squeeze in maybe some, you know, Treehouse of Horrors or Halloween Baking Championship or something like that before I go to work and then start the night off and stuff so those are my plans on what i want to watch this halloween like i said i'm not too sure if you guys have recommendations on a new horror film or even a horror film from back in the day there's some that i have in my mind for ideas but let me know if there's any suggestions please like i said for that time when i have the kids are in school and i'll take that time to watch a newer horror film or something different that i've never seen let me know in the comment section so I can squeeze that film in there. I would love to check it out. Like I said, anything out there, I'm always down to check it out. Like, I give any movie a fair shake at least once. But those are just my plans for this Halloween. And then also Monday, the day before that, will be Pumpkin Carving Day. I always do Pumpkin Carving Day for me is always the day right before Halloween. So Monday, that day, all throughout that day, I'll be carving pumpkins. I got five in the garage right now, sitting just like chilling, you know, keeping them cool and stuff. So I'll be coming up with some cool designs and stencils to carve out and everything. So, but please, like I said, let me know in the comment section, what are you all planning? What are you going to be doing for Halloween? Are you guys working? Are you, are you off? Are you going to be hanging with the kids, trick-or-treating? Are you just going to be handing out candy, binging a bunch of horror movies? Like, I would love to hear from all of you so we can discuss and share it. Like I said, this is a happy time. My favorite time of the year. One of the best. Spook, spooktober, man. Ah. It's such a fantastic time and like fall weather, everything about this time. Pumpkin spice, the pumpkin lattes, ah, chef's kiss. So yeah, like I said, definitely, definitely let me know down below what are you all doing. But please like this video, that greatly helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and poke that notification bell so you're notified anytime I post a video because you want to stay up to date on the channel. But most importantly, you know what's up. I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.